Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Lazy Lab. In this video we are going to make different engraving uh, tests on uh, steel, two types of uh, titanium, three types of stainless steel and two types of anodized aluminum. So here we have our 15 watt uh, DUOS DIY version installed on a Gen Mitsu Saint Smart engraving, oh sorry, CNC machine. So let's try two different uh, titanium plates. The engraving speed will be 500 millimeters per minute and 99% power. So I already put uh, this on our worktop. Keep in mind that uh, to have a very good uh, and accurate engraving, you have to be in focus. Okay, let's start our engraving process. 500 millimeters. Per minute, power on, and don't forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. So. You can see, it's probably the speed, you can reduce it a little bit, but anyway, looks good. So let's try um, another piece. And put here. Okay. Also quite quite good. Okay, let's try stainless steel. So we have a few different types of stainless steel. Okay. okay ready? Steady. Go. So also you can see very good result. We have slightly different piece. So we don't use air assist here. So for this one, it didn't engrave. So yeah, okay, it did engrave, but not as good as was before. So maybe it's because of different type of stainless steel. So keep in mind that different types of stainless steel could be engraved in, in different way, or you can, you need to reduce speed or check the focus. So we have another one, so it's not white plate, so uh, okay, let me find the focus, okay, okay we're starting somewhere, okay, let's start it here, we use light burn software, it's a good one for makers, you can see guys, laser engraving, yeah, okay, so you can see it over here. So, looks good. Let's try a piece of steel, so it's not stainless. And for this one, I would need to reduce speed to Probably something like 100 millimeters per minute. So it will be longer, it'll take a little bit longer. Okay.
it's too bright. Okay, let's see what we've got. Yeah, so you see that you didn't engrave well. well. To be honest, it engraved, but not as... Yeah, I tried this before, so it's a little bit better result. So, but yeah, it can engrave. Maybe we, we should do the speed something like 75 millimeters per minute. Okay, let's try um, anodized aluminum. Starting from here. Okay. Yeah, I just forgot to change the speed. It's still 100. Yeah, but here you can do with faster speed, like. Uh, yeah, was 100 you can do like 500 or even 1000 so it does very quickly yeah and you already can see the gf it's just if you don't know gf is george formichev at endurancerobots.com my email if you have any questions or call me plus seven nine one six two five four three two if you want to discuss something yeah. so it looks good and it, it's uh, getting hot okay and the last one oh no not really or is it okay we 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 can do faster let's put 1000 over here so it should be very fast Okay. Oops. Something went wrong. The controller. Okay, let's do it again. And yeah, that's why we prefer professional controllers like Ruida, where you have everything perfect. Yeah, and you can probably clean it up with a napkin or so or something will be very clean okay and the last thing I want to show you that you can even engrave on on pure brass it's very thin it's like one millimeter piece of brass that you can buy on eBay or Amazon okay let's check the focus first and our starting point let's put it here okay and uh, the speed is 100 millimeters per minute and 99% power. Yeah, the hack is that you don't need any engraving paste or any chemicals, so you just have enough power. Oh, okay, so once again we have a problem with the controller. Yeah, but anyway, you can see the result. So it wasn't great, quite good. I don't know why, why the controller is stopping, but anyway, you can see the result. And I must say that it's quite impressive. Yeah, if I try to clean it with uh, fingers, probably if you do polish it a lot, then you can remove it. But like you see, I, I do, and it still remains remains there so this is quite impressive because before you can only engrave uh, using DPSS laser and now you can do it using a diode which is which is good and um, I'm sure you will you will like it as well so visit our website endurancelasers.com and if you want to learn more about our lasers and you're welcome to visit our online store endurance-lasers.com and uh, here is our um, uh, 15 watt duos DIY laser so enjoy bye bye